So you swam back in the 1965 World University Games and, you know, were a really a great swimmer. And actually my you know, personal events that you swam those events back in the day and, you know, really set the stage. Uh, so what do you remember most about your World University Games experience? Well, I was, I was lucky to make the team, but once I made the team, I had not worked out that hard that summer but uh with the additional two weeks and whatnot i was able to do real well and competed in two different events there so i felt very fortunate the other thing that was really neat about it was it was held in budapest yeah. and beautiful city place i'd never been before you know great experience i bet budapest sounds really nice i haven't been but i've heard good things <laughs> So what was it like getting to represent the U.S. on a global stage like the World University Games? Um, well, I'd been in the Olympics the year before. So I had represented, you know, on an international stage and whatnot. But uh, this was really nice. We had a what I would consider a limited team, and that gave me the opportunity to participate in a second event, which was the 400 freestyle um, uh, relay. So that worked out extremely well for me. And then afterwards, uh, the games themselves, we were able to go on a grand tour of the area, which was really super. That's really cool. So do you believe competing in a global event like that made you a better competitor overall? Oh, sure, absolutely. I mean, the, the international competition is always stiff. Uh, at that time, I would say that, you know, the United States and Australia were probably the two dominant uh, powers in swimming. And so, but uh, the Russians also had a good team. In fact, the person that I just barely beat in my 200 meter backstroke event was a, in fact a Russian. So, you know, you've been in the state of North Carolina for a while now. You know, you're aware of the large university presence that the Triangle area has with you know Duke, UNC, NC State, Shaw, Meredith, all, all those schools. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Triangle area and those universities as hosts for the World University Games? I don't think there would be a problem. Uh, like you said, the, all the facilities are here. Uh, housing could be easily established, especially if they use you know, dorms from the different universities and everything. Uh, I think it would be an ideal situation. So in your perspective, uh, what kind of positive impacts should we expect if the Triangle was selected as the 2027 World University Games host? Well, in addition to giving uh, local fans a, a huge you know, inventory of events to watch and everything, uh, I think it would be a big financial gain for the area. I mean, lots of people would go come to attend all this type of stuff. Uh, I don't see that that's a problem at all. Yeah, Who so else is a, bidding at this point? Sorry, what? Who Who's else is bidding that? on this at this point? Do you know? Uh, I don't know, off, but I know that we have won the uh, U.S. bid. So we are the U.S. location, uh, and now we're competing against other countries uh, for the bid. But if the U.S. does win, it will be here in the triangle. Super. And is this for next year or two years out? No, it's for 2027. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you won't, you won't have to worry about COVID at that point. No, it's a, it's a long ways off. So, um, you know, in your opinion, what makes for the best athlete experience at a large event like the World University Games? Well, something that I found to be very interesting was that I was able to uh, – be in contact and talk to and all this type of stuff, people from other sports. And so at that particular time, uh, I kind of palled up with some of the basketball players that were from the United States uh, who were competing over there and uh, found it very interesting. Uh, one particular conversation with, was with Bill Bradley, who Princeton, outstanding basketball player, all this type of stuff, eventually became a U.S. Senator and whatnot after that. But he, he was in the process of doing a Rhodes Scholar uh, when he came to the university games. 
Wow, that's impressive. So, you know, as a carry resident, um, would you personally like to see the triangle as a host? Oh, sure. Absolutely. I think it would be, like I said, be great for the spectators. I think it'd be an excellent place for the athletes to come. And with everything being so close by, uh, I mean, even to travel from Raleigh to Chapel Hill, if you wanted to go see an event, uh, it'd be no big deal at all. Yeah. So, you know, last question here. Would, do you have any advice for the North Carolina Bid Committee uh, that might help them land these games? That's kind of out of my realm, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what it would, what it would take. Uh, like I said, I said em emphasizing the facilities that are here, and especially with three major colleges or universities in the area, uh, I think that would have to be a winning combination in addition to some of the smaller universities that are here. So uh, I don't see a negative or a downside. Let's put it that way. All right, well, thank you so much for taking the time. Okay. Thank you so.